in this video i'm going to show you how i learned swahili in just one month hmm unaongea kiswahili deyo naongea kiswahili wow ulijifunza wapi kiswahili mm, katika youtube na katika dolingo asking of why learn swahili there is many answer for that but in february this year african union adapted swahili as a working language in the continent nina furaha kukutana na wewe unaitwa nani ninaitwa bol pasquale very good oh jesus christ uh, so this is day one. um <laughs> so this is day one. uh Yeah so I've been learning Swahili for several days right now several weeks so uh, today let's start with counting what I've learned in Swahili counting so one is moja two is mbili three is tatu four is nne five is tano then six is sita sita is like obviously like arabic sita seven is saba same thing is in, in arabic is saba and eight is nane and then nine is is tisa which is tisa in arabic and also ten is kumi kumi na moja kumi na ta kumi na this is not my first time to try to learn swahili in 2017 when bongo flava the tanzanian music start you know going viral inside outside continent people are liking, liking the vibe diamond is here rayvine is here so i was immersed into tanzanian music so I, i felt like why not try to learn swahili and i tried but unfortunately i failed you know also 2020 i tried to learn swahili but with lack with lack of interest and also unseriousness at the same time could not learn swahili But lately last October I put my heart into Swahili that serious you know I feel like because I have some friends in school so they speak Swahili and they come from Kenya so for me I feel like oh wow this is nice why not try to learn Swahili and chat with them as well and put that into my languages list because for me now I can speak Arabic I can speak English and also now now I can speak Swahili which is something good you know Hey hi everyone. So my Dolingo lesson starting in just 5 minutes. It's not that much one hour lesson. It's just 10 minute lesson, you know. So every day I take 10 minutes of my time to learn new words in Dolingo. So they offer new words and also sentences to you to read and memorize as well. So let's go. Then the safari notification Asante sana. Unaweza chagua nyeupe, nyeusi au ya fedha. Nataka nyeusi. We as young people, we are full of energy, you know. We are very energetic and everything we put our heart into it, we can learn it, you know. As you are a young person, you have energy, you have time. You don't have a lot of responsibility, you know. So you can learn whatever you put your heart into it, you know. For me, I feel like I'm still young. and i can still learn a lot of stuff you know and that this is the reason why i start learning swahili it's uh, the third day uh, tatu in mchana so i'm still on the process of trying to learn swahili and we are going to get it done you know in um, in about 30 minutes i will be having a lecture on dolingo so let's go and get it so after i finish my lesson in dolingo i go immediately to apps where i learned swahili in I'm fine. Si jambo. Fine thanks. Nzuri, asante. Jambo. Siku ninaamka saa 12 kamili asubuhi. Every day I wake up at 6 o'clock a.m. Ile siku ni amka saa 6 asubuhi. Ninapiga mswaki. Swahili the hardest thing I find about Swahili is that the first the way people talk very fast, you know. I find it's very challenging because like when you find native Swahili speakers speaking, 
the speed is like you know i cannot match with the speed i think i need more time but yeah i'm ready for it nyama choma it's really cool so what have i learned from this process of trying to learn a new language the first thing is know your why why you want to learn the language why do you want to learn the language because without no reason you cannot just learn something there's a a reason there is a why behind everything that you do identify your why the reason why you want to learn new language and second to that is interest are you having interest in that language that you want to learn because without interest you will never go well you know because interest is what make you learn your language it's like the flavor of success and it's like the flavor of being successful in learning a new language and the third thing is consistency consistency and persistence because learning language you may learn new words in this matter of one day or one week in a language but for you to be perfect in language you need days you need weeks you need months you need year to be perfect in a language so be persistent continue learning every day every now and then try to learn habari asubuhi rafiki asante sana kwa kutazama yango video uh I'm delighted. I'm so happy that you watch my video. Um I hope I helped you in any way possible. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your friend. Kwaheri.